So a few days ago, Spotify began moving Joe Rogan's content over to their platform. This is a long time coming deal as they paid Joe Rogan $100 million to have exclusive rights to his podcast show. Basically, that's going to be the only place you're going to be able to watch his show is over on Spotify. This was a big deal. A lot of people were talking about it because it's a blow to YouTube in a lot of ways. Now they're pretty much going to be promoting his work on Spotify. It's kind of funny because he's just going to upload clips to YouTube. And then if you want to watch the full episode, well, you're going to have to go to Spotify. Now, when this was first announced, I believe it actually made Spotify money. Their stock went up and so on and so on. But now... Uh, they're in a little bit of hot water because it would appear that they actually have lost money. Now, this could be a coincidence because a lot of tech stocks did go down over the past couple of days. It's kind of been a bad day for stocks in tech. But a lot of people are speculating that the bad rollout of Joe Rogan's podcast helped create a $4.8 billion headache for the platform, which is a big, big loss. When the move happened, all of the headlines were reporting that a lot of these shows are gone. We have a complete list. There's about 50 of them. Now, I don't know exactly how many of these people like lean a certain way where they don't want you on the platform, but... The amount of people that have been kicked off of platforms, let's just say that, that didn't get the move over to Spotify was kind of concerning. I don't get why Tommy Chong didn't get his interview moved over. That's kind of strange. But you can see here, he says, Joe Rogan had my interview with him excluded from the Spotify archives. Why, Joe? Is it because I oppose Trump or is it the gun thing? Why, Joe? It's an interesting question. I went over to Joe Rogan's account there's still no word from him the only person who spoke out on what's going on has been a jones Uh, he actually posted an article on his website that i don't think i should probably name i don't know how youtube's terms of services are with that but you guys are smart people you know what i'm talking about Uh, he came out and said that this is due to some crazy rollout and They're making a certain amount of episodes, the exclusive to YouTube set, the best of Joe Rogan, and they're going to slowly move those over. The only question I have about all that, though, is where's Joe Rogan's statement on that? He hasn't said anything officially, and I don't think Spotify has either. And I looked around a little bit before I decided to make this video. I haven't seen any official statement on it. It's a wait and see, I guess, and see if maybe this is a big mess, but something tells me they just don't want that content on the platform, and that's the problem, and that's why it might have hurt Spotify and cost them $4.8 billion. Now, I don't think all of this money came from the Joe Rogan move, but I think that it probably did have some factor in this drop of their stock, notably because... I mean, this was the big get for them. You know, this is what they they made a ton of money when they made this announcement. Their stocks went up. They had money pouring in because people were excited. This is one of the biggest names. This was seen as Spotify making a big move. But now you're bringing them over and there's a potential for censorship. That's going to create a little bit of a headache because one of the great things about his show is that he lets anybody on and lets them talk, and he always makes entertaining interviews with them. His his shows with Jones are probably, in my opinion, probably the best interviews he has. I, I think those are hilarious interviews. So you have to understand the concern here. Well, this is going to be a censored show if that's the case. Now, according to Jones, he denies that, so we'll see what happens. However, this still created a, a ton of bad press, and it was enough for their stocks to drop Now, you could say maybe this was due to some other reasons, but I I do think this had some influence in that and that stock drop because it's kind of a big deal. This, like I said, I think Joe Rogan's podcast is probably the modern day Howard Stern show in a lot of ways. So let's take a look at this a little bit. Spotify shares dropped 8.8% September 2nd morning, shaving as much as 4.81 billion of its value following report. Joe Rogan's back catalog 
debuted on the platform Tuesday without episodes by right-wing personalities. The closing price of $275 marked a 5.5 drop from Tuesday's close. As the trading day heats up on Thursday, the the price is hovering around $269. They go on later in this article to point out here that Spotify has removed music before by groups that are deemed istophobic by the SPLC. That's the Southern Poverty Law Center. And they've announced new rules, like a new policy for that kind of content, but they walked it back a little bit because it would cast too wide of a net. Now, it's interesting. I didn't know that Spotify had removed stuff like that before. That was an interesting find here. But then they go on to say this is why they speculate that this made this a tricky situation because Rogan's high profile. He's arguably the biggest podcaster on their website and censoring him might not be a big might end up being a really big deal and cost them a lot of money. looks like it's already costing them money. Rogan's rollout on the platform created negative press even by Wall Street with Spotify stock price soaring in 2020, a long term investor could have sold at a healthy profit on Wednesday, helping turn an embarrassing fumble into a $4.8 billion loss. The share price recovered nearly 40% of the loss, suggesting some investors sensed an overreaction and a buying opportunity. But it's still crazy the headache that this caused. So I thought this is an interesting story. We'll see what happens. They got some of their money back, but... Uh, I don't think people are going to like this. Now, this story could die down, but the real interesting thing we'll see to see is our future guests going to be affected by this. Because if he doesn't have on guests from all of the political spectrum like he used to, I think the show will lose a little bit of its flavor. I really do. And some of his personal stock will go down. So we'll see what happens. Maybe this is just all a crazy coincidence. That's still something that could be a thing, but... It's tough, to, it's tough to say until we know a little bit more. I'd like Joe Rogan to come out and say something, but as of today, he still hasn't said shit. So anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Also, if you would throw a like up, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.